I am Zeel Bhatt and welcome to my channel Zeel's Pharmacy Tutorial. And today we are going to study about hexose monophosphate shunt that is HMP shunt or pentose phosphate pathway. Let us have a look on the key points of HMP shunt. The enzymes of HMP shunt are located in cytosol. The tissues such as liver, adipose tissue, adrenal gland, erythrocytes, testes and lactating mammary glands are highly active in HMP shunt. Let us have a look on the reactions of HMP shunt. The sequence of reaction have two phases. First is oxidative phase and non-oxidative phase. In oxidative phase, the starting material which is glucose 6-phosphate undergoes multiple reaction and forms ribulose 5-phosphate. In the non-oxidative phase, the reactions are concerned with the interconversion of 3, 4, 5 and 7 carbon monosaccharides. Now, let us see how all these reactions occur. So, first of all, 6 molecules of glucose 6-phosphate in the presence of the enzyme glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase which is NADP dependent gets converted into 6-phosphogluconolactone. 6 molecules of 6-phosphogluconolactone gets hydrolyzed in the presence of the enzyme gluconolactone hydrolase and gets converted into 6-phosphogluconate. Here, 6 molecules of water are added. Now, 6 molecules of 6-phosphogluconate in the presence of the enzyme phosphogluconate dehydrogenase gets converted into ribulose 5-phosphate. The formation of ribulose 5-phosphate indicates the end of oxidative phase. From here starts the non-oxidative phase in which 6 molecules of ribulose 5-phosphate in the presence of the enzyme epimerase and ketoisomerase gets converted into 4 molecules of xylulose 5-phosphate and 2 molecules of ribose 5-phosphate. 2 molecules of xylulose 5-phosphate is consumed in the next step but the 2 molecules of xylulose 5-phosphate will be consumed in the last step. Now, 2 molecules of xylulose 5-phosphate and 2 molecules of ribose 5-phosphate in the presence of the enzyme transketolase which is thiamine pyrophosphate dependent gets converted into 2 molecules of pseudoheptylose 7-phosphate and 2 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Now, 2 molecules of pseudoheptylose 7-phosphate and 2 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate in the presence of the enzyme transaldolase gets converted into 2 molecules of erythrose 4-phosphate and 2 molecules of fructose 6-phosphate. Now, fructose 6-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate can be further catabolized through glycolysis and citric acid cycle. Glucose may also be synthesized from these two compounds.